Hello once again, this is Brother Teacher. I uh, wanted to talk just for a moment about uh, what I feel and deem to be a very essential part of our martial arts practice or martial science as it were. It should be martial science and what I'm saying is this. We have been accustomed to as a society to see martial arts and in this particular instance I'm just going to use karate as the uh, the main uh, theme as it were uh, because karate is a generic term that's often been associated with martial arts especially in the western world uh, martial arts doesn't work too well in the search engine sometimes and people will usually pick up on specific martial arts systems of styles like taekwondo, jujitsu and karate uh, these were some of the first things that were introduced in America uh, back in the 50s and 60s. So uh, how far should your karate go as far as training is concerned? Is it only kicking and punching? Which is what I was alluding to in the title. No it's not and it should not be just kicking and punching. And if you're studying Jiu Jitsu or, ju or Judo and Aikido it should be more than throws and uh, arm locks, wrist locks, and things like this as well, grappling on the ground. Martial arts should be well-rounded, regardless of what the system is that you study. And what I mean by that is, outside of the fighting slash self-defense aspect of martial arts, and even the sporting aspect of martial arts, we have to learn something about human anatomy. It's more than just simply copying something by rote, by mimicking what you see by going through some patterns or katas or pumps, if you will, hungs. Uh, karate, your karate should be something uh, of a journey for you outside of just its origin. Karate should be uh, an exploration into your physiology. How does your body fundamentally work? I'm not saying that you have to be a scientist per se. I'm not saying that you have to be a, a physicist or a chemist or anything of this sort. But what I am saying is, what I would say to the average ordinary individual is that you need to understand your body fundamentally. And as a martial arts practitioner, regardless of the system or style that you study, you need to know how fundamentally you operate. You need to know about respiration, breathing, and how it's associated with martial arts. You need to also learn about diet, how you should eat. You just can't eat anything and everything that you want to. And you must take these things into consideration as a martial artist. You must learn about general health practices. Uh, it. I'm trying to find a nice way to put this, but I'm not attacking anyone specifically. Uh, I, I humble myself. But it's something that should be addressed and has always been an issue. And that is obese or extremely overweight martial arts practitioners that's not healthy it's not good so take it for what it's worth face value you know if you're going to be effective as a martial arts practitioner especially if you are in the instructor capacity you must take care of your physiology to be morbidly obese and that's the extreme or obese Even if you're just simply a bit overweight, understand, everyone, comprehend this, your body's anatomy was not made for excessive weight. And when you have excessive weight, it puts a strain on your internal organs. Now, this is a video that's coming up sometime uh, in the future by myself about the general side of this thing again and maybe more specific uh, details as far as the internal organs are concerned but just just to kind of like a give an overview understand this our bodies are constructed specific in a specific way and there's a reason that your bodies are constructed or our bodies are constructed in a specific way everything works in tandem your body is a whole it is complete everything that it needs is contained within and everything has a job to do anytime you alter your body's 
original intent and or purpose or structure or compromise it, uh, you're going to end up with some physical maladies and issues and discomforts, if you will. You're going to have even disease. Disease means not at ease. Your body's going to be out of balance. So when you have an extreme amount of weight in front of your belly or in the form of belly fat, your internal organs, your intestines, large and small, uh, are contained herein. Uh, they get compromised and that weight because of gravity of that extra fat in front of you is going to not only throw your back off a little bit and your posture if you will uh, and cause stress on your skeletal frame it's also going to pull those organs forward and down out of their natural position enough about that so now martial artists should not be taking drugs if they don't have to they should neither should the general public why are you taking drugs if you don't need to take drugs to uh, bring you back into homeostasis or balance again I mean emergency medical help or and or health care is understood but there are people who are taking recreational drugs just to feel good I personally am high and get high off of life I don't need anything outside of me to give me this false sense of balance or uh, euphoria if you will I enjoy and I'm in tune with the world uh, that God gave us and how he intended for it to be I don't need artificial substances in my body to alter what God has already made perfect no, notwithstanding we will have illnesses we will have injuries throughout our lives from childhood up into the present but we should not escalate our life on the earth to the graveyard you follow what I'm saying we should not be the uh, partakers or the catalyst for our own death in the things that we are doing that are bad habits is what I'm saying so as martial artists we have to be examples not just of someone who can punch good block kick throw uh, execute ukimi or falling you know and every other aspect of the physical part of martial arts that we undergo from day to day. We should understand something also about our health in general, how our bodies work. As I mentioned before, respiration, proper breathing. Did you know that your diaphragm is the main organ, if you will, for breathing, not thoracic breathing? Did you, we're taught that in school and as children to breathe thoracically, you should breathe diaphragmically. That's another subject. And did you, did you also know that you are what you eat? We should be eating whole food. Whole means complete food. Not what people call food. That's not food. Anything that has been uh, adulterated or changed or altered or has a lot of chemicals and processed foods should stay out of our diets. I know it's hard to do. I know the industry, you know, is targeting us especially the younger generation with all of the sugar laden products and so forth but we just have to be more vigilant more vigilant excuse me more vigilant and more diligent about how we shop for our health as martial artists we should we have to be leading by example and not someone who is looked upon as someone that is not very well disciplined not only in the martial arts literally fighting and so forth but discipline as far as our health is concerned in my classes all of the time my students get more than just physical training I speak to them the same way I speak about spirituality I speak about loving your neighbor treating your neighbor as yourself I speak about your general health the same things that I just kind of uh, discussed a moment ago about health in general we're given this body for a short time on this earth it is incumbent upon all of us to take care of this body that was given to us as best as we possibly can not not to mean that um, we're going to get it completely right you know a lot of us are just learning this information many years later I'm a baby boomer you know I didn't know this when I was in my 20s but when I began to see the light I started walking in it 
so I believe that we should all do the same thing. So I'm going to start ranting on about this, but uh, this, this, the, the original premise of this, the original premise of this video was about martial artists being someone that's not just simply a kicker or a puncher, but someone who understands their body completely. That's it. And that's all. Let me know what you think. And I hope this uh, video and the things that I mentioned in this video were a benefit to you. Please practice on a regular basis. You're never too old to learn martial arts. If you're one of those individuals that is not practicing martial arts right now and you've been curious or interested in martial arts, go on and start doing a little research and find you a good quality instructor in some particular discipline and take care of yourselves. That's all I can say. Until then, brother teacher loves you and God loves you. Take care.